Hi, welcome back. I'm Dave. This is my Kawasaki AR50. I'm trying to get to 100 mile an hour. Uh, first of all, thanks. 500 subs now. In fact, bit past. Thank you very much for everyone who has subscribed. So today, what we're doing? Um, I've cut a couple of new heads. So I'm going to go through how I cut these. Uh, I've increased the compression, but I've got two different squish area ratios to try. I've also put a nice little O-ring in there for better sealing and a spigot in the top of the barrel for location. And at the end, I'm going to try a short pipe just to see what happens. Just uh, checking the compression ratio on what I've got at the minute. I know I've done it before, but I'm going to do it again just so I've got an absolute definite before I modify the head. So I'm starting with 36cc in there, and I'm going to fill it up to the bottom of the plug. Okay, I'm now down to or gone to 45 and a half. So I'm going to do some mathematics and get back to you. Bit of public math, so that's a five. Borrow one from there, so that's 15, so that's nine. That becomes a three, so there's zero, so 9.5, 9.5 cc. It's a spreadsheet I made many years ago. So we had 9.5, which gives me 11 point. 2 to 1 compression ratio I'm currently running or 6.03 trapped. So let's get this apart and machine it up and see what we end up with. I'm going to double check the squish as well before I make any changes. Okay, looks like it's got it. So back 0.7, which is not too bad. Maybe a little bit closer. So if you look for Kiwi Biker in the bucket section, and this is the Excel spreadsheet that. I downloaded. Uh, the latest link is here, I believe it's towards the end. It keeps updating it, and as you can see, it does all your porting, does FOS pipes, wobbly pipes. This is the head bit that I actually used to show the inflow angles, give you a port map. It's really, really cool. Okay, it's my setup. I use the center in there if you can see. There's a lump of metal, which is 54.5mm, or 55.5mm, whatever, 55. It's clamped with two of the four jaws, and then on the bottom of the liner with the other two. And I've got it to within about half a thou, which I think is good enough. I'm going to then turn it, have this centre in here to support it, it's a little bit out of balance but I'll do it slow and then I'll just take some of that off. Next up is the head, so I've got a little adapter that goes into the chuck, so the head screws on that and then I can machine this out. Right, I've got the cross slide set up 12 degrees just so I can do the squish band now. Right, give it a quick polish up. So you can see there's a little spigot there, it's only about a mil high. I can't remember the diameter I made it, however, in both these heads, the corresponding diameter sits there. And there's a little bit of relief there. So these put it on and it's lined up. Always central. I was originally gonna lap these in, but I soon saw it was going to take ages to grind that to a really good finish. So I decided to, I've got no ring in, so I've o-ringed that now. And to assist with putting the o-ring grooves in, I made this little setting jig. So I got that set. This fits onto my head adapter, 40mm spark plug thread in there. I can set my tool up. And then I know I can go straight into the heads and cut an accurate o-ring. Right, heads machined. So this head here, 
was the original head I was using. I've modified it. Uh, I've reduced the squish. It's now 0.55 gap. Squish area ratio is 0.39. And I've, in, well, I've reduced the volume, so I've increased the compression ratio. It's now at 13.8 to 1 geometric, and that's 7.3 to 1 trapped. This other head is another head I've got. I've got a 50% squish area ratio. I've got 0.5 uh, squish gap and it's also the same CC so it works out exactly the same given the same 13.8 to 1 geo and 7.3 to 1 uh, trapped. Okay, quick and dirty again, um, put on a new head, and I've made less power, so that is not good. So okay, one last test, I've got a really short pipe, I've borrowed Daryl for an 80 scooter I think however it's short somewhat near the length that uh, the the original pipe was for the original test attempt so I'm going to give this a quick run to see what happens to the power okay test results so I was uh, I had big hopes for this test I thought I've got a couple of horsepower here uh, not to be however let's review it let's see what we Got. I didn't record much uh, at the dyno because, quite frankly, I was quite disappointed. <laughs> Particularly when I did the first test. More compression, roughly the same squish area ratio, less power. What is going on? Um, I then put the other head on. And actually, I did pick up a bit of power there. And I did a retest. So the best test I had for that... 13.8 comp with the 0.5 squish area ratio it did beat the previous curve so 15.1 versus 14.6 so those that actually said half horsepower uh, on my little post you won 5% so about two of you half horsepower that's all I got and additionally I put another pipe on that really short pipe I thought I may pick up a bit more power but it is it, it was still going I had to shut it off I think the soft limit came in on the ignition but again no more power so I've been having a look through some bits uh, I've got some port casts here so this is the one out of my barrel and as I saw I said before I've got about 15 16 horsepower at the wheels blow down in this which is probably why I'm not getting as much power from the compression as I would have liked. This is the cast of the exhaust port that Chris did for the original um, AR. And as you can see from there, it's a lot bigger. There's a lot more blow down area. And I think that's probably probably limiting me a minute. The other one is Chris spent quite a lot of time. This is his inlet and that's my inlet. And you can see where he narrowed it down and he spent quite a lot of time flowing it. Potentially an area to look at. And he has got a little bit more port window area as well. Been digging through my files and I found all my templates for the original pipe that I did for the uh, article. So I want to make that again. It is quite a short pipe. I'm just interested to see how it works uh, this time. So I'm going to be getting my tin snips out and uh, make the pipe up. Hopefully we can get a bit more power. I need at least to go with three or four horsepower, I reckon, maybe five. Um, keep comments coming, keep giving us those likes, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time.